Hi everyone and welcome back to my Deus Ex Mankind Divided Challenge Playthrough or Permadeath Walkthrough. This is mission 7 and it's my favorite mission. This is, yeah, this is the best mission in the game in my opinion. The, the environment, art style, uh, attention to detail that this whole place has is incredible. Uh, I wish, I only wish we had more places like this because I think this is the pinnacle of what Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divided is. I think uh, apart from this place uh, it only gets a little interesting in the Garm facility which is the only one that is truly top secret facility that we're going to, you know, uh, infiltrate or escape rather and uh, yeah after that we don't really do much else of anything uh, sadly um, we visit the same place the hub city of Prague um, we come and go uh, several times I'm trimming all cutscenes here and all uh, conversations I will not be trimming out the conversation you have to win against uh, Taro's rocker at the end uh, you will have the answers that you have to uh, select for him to come uh, peaceful to you even though he dies immediately after you know fox die or something uh, it's just it's funny because it, it automatically reminds me of fox die you know from Metal Gear so um, oh yeah I'm gonna do this before I actually uh, go to the merchant um, I'm going to grab the things that the merchant needs before he asks me to get them. Since I already played through this area and the game is so uh, open-ended in this uh, manner that I can actually get uh, the things before I even reach the merchant. And it's so fucking useful, guys. And it speeds up uh, a lot of things. The game has a, a way to tell you of, you know, the game is, is prepared for challenge playthroughs because it has a way of uh, setting some of the hacking uh, abilities only set to level 1. You know, the panels are only set to level 1. And level 1 is the basic, the, the one you start with. So that's the game telling you that if you didn't invest anything in hacking, you know, or if you're doing a challenge run, you can still hack the most important, uh, let's just put it, mo most important uh, things that the game kinda gives you like an option to hack to, to get it faster, to get some things faster in your playthrough. Uh, so that's, that's really cool, I mean this game is full of open-ended choices. Um, I'm not talking about the choices that you, you do with Adam, which are, I'll, I think there are two or three only in the full game. And I do not agree at all with the options that they give you to choose and the outcome that you receive, because there is no visible outcome. Uh, the city of Prague uh, still is the same one, uh, whatever ch choice you made and is I don't want to spoil too heavily but it's only going to change in minor minute details like not really important stuff like it's not Witcher 3 uh, that depends on what we do the whole fucking thing will change and it's kind of the Witcher 3 you know did it in a way that is always a gray area what you choose it doesn't directly tell you that what you're doing is either blue or red or you know the renegade or the the hero or, or the left or right you know the the the, the angel and demon uh, is not that kind of game Witcher 3 and I always appreciate it for it and yet once again we get a new Deus Ex with the angel and demon choices which I think they are getting fucking stale guys I think this this is not the way to present uh, a choice 
a choiceful meaning uh, to to it all because the only thing that you're going to choose are, are maybe the only important thing that you're not gonna see certain mission by the end of the game if you choose to go one way you're gonna see another one and if you choose the other you're not gonna see the the, the other one right you're, you're, you're just gonna miss an entire mission that is made for replayability of course um, but it's not a huge conspiracy mission or something like that. In fact, both of those uh, missions are pretty crappy to my to my. I think the game ends when you escape. To, to, uh, if you want me to be honest, the, the interesting things about this game is this entire fucking mission that is beautiful. It's just fucking beautiful. This mission is fucking gorgeous. It's gorgeous to look at, and it's incredible to play. Is this mission? and mostly the garm but it's kind of wasted the garm because you can the area is too small and the, the amount of things that th they just tell you to escape from that place the, you're not given any tasks to complete Jensen, uh, it's, it's not fast. fema you remember I fema from human revolution and i could quote several you other installations from the first day of sex which I will never stop talking about the sex one if I if I got into it. You know what? I I might cover the sex. Do you guys want to see me covering the sex, the first one, and doing a ghost, pacifist, um, no omens run like exactly like this and Human Revolution, but in Deus X one because I do have the game, and the only thing that this game uh, accomplishment uh, excuse me it's spanglish uh, the only thing this game accomplish, uh, accomplishes uh, in my uh, opinion as always is that it makes me want to play more Deus Ex like I, I feel like the game got cut heavily here and, and, and I just wanted to keep playing maybe, maybe I'm being a little unfair because it is a little unfair to speak of things that are not there. It's better to analyze things that are there, which is a basic review that hopefully is what a review will do. It's not just, you know, inventing stuff that should be there. It's just analyzing the product that we get. But let's just say I was a little disappointed because I expected more of uh, infiltrating cool places essentially like we get nothing like Panchea like the closest thing to Panchea that we get is uh, the Garm facility and it goes by so quickly and it's such a shame that because so much potential wasted to 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 show great places I mean the attention to detail here is fucking amazing if we had like I'm not asking too much if I ask for three or more places like this one with several objectives and and maybe one or two more bosses with cool mechanics like the final boss that you can actually uh, not kill him and just you know uh, go non-lethal on him and you're gonna see an edit here guys because this is basically the edit where I saved the permadeath and continue from this point through the rest of the level um, so yeah I I don't want to keep hammering the game as I said before because I loved it I, I really enjoyed it every every hour every second I took my time with this one guys that's why you 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 didn't even see uh, any videos uploaded not even f like random gameplay and usually I do upload some random gameplay but I was so uh, Deus Ex is so special to me it really is it's, it's my favorite game of all time Deus Ex 1 so I really do pay full attention to this game and and I don't, I don't really play the the, the YouTube game uh, with games that I truly, truly love, you know. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, uh, when I talk about the YouTube game, I talk about rushing um, 
rushing playthroughs, rushing walkthroughs, you know, uh, doing the rat, uh, the rat dad stuff, you know, rushing a walkthrough that is not even a walkthrough because he's just playing it for the first time or whatever, or just you know, I or or rushing a game, rushing a game entirely, uh, missing every single thing because I just rush it just just to get it on YouTube as fast as possible. I do. I do that with certain games, uh, but with those X, I will never do that, and with and with other games as well that I, I hold in high regard. Um, like kind of I just want to enjoy them now. for myself, like and uh, at the same time, it will allow me to create these strategies that I think that are really cool to see. Hopefully, they are really cool to see. So you'll see me at every point uh, grabbing objects to, to distract enemies. I have to use uh, several objects to distract enemies because I have no other choice because I have no augments. This is the only way to make them look uh, to another place or just... You know why? Sometimes I use uh, an object and I throw it to interrupt a uh, conversation. If you throw out an object and make noise it, it interrupts the conversation and resets the path of the uh, normal enemies. You know, the path that they would have taken when the conversation uh, would have ended. And it's just, it's a waste of minutes. This game is really friendly for speedrunnings, actually. Uh, if I'm sure we're gonna see some interesting speedruns of this game because uh, this game is really to friendly towards that. See, I throw that there just to distract this uh, woman to make it look to another place. I don't have the Icarus landing here, so this part is really dangerous, guys. Don't drop to the bottom or something like that, or y y you know, you'll get the. You died, and you have to start the whole fucking game again, or from the last save. You know, yeah. yeah. I I just haven't tested if that uh, theory of mine uh, is actually what is happening here. If they actually block your save uh, and not delete it, just block it. And if they do that, it's it's really clever. And by the way, as I mentioned before, guys, we are going to do streams. I, I want to do streams of this game, uh, doing exactly the same strategies that I'm doing here. Uh, but maybe with augments, so it's a lot funner. Oh, by the way, uh, wait until this guy walks through these lasers and stay on his back. Is it is? I think this is the only way, feasible way to get through this part. See, just stay on his ass. Don't touch him because if you touch him, you're gonna alert him. So yeah. So let's see how. This is funny because I'm gonna jump on, on, on the table and land uh, and she's not gonna even hear me. And I have no augment on guys. I have no augment o with the noises or the cloak or whatever. But it's really funny how you can find ways to circumvent enemies. She's, she's just there and she doesn't even notice me. That's really funny. So I, I wouldn't quote, I wouldn't say the AI is bad. I wouldn't say the AI is bad. It's actually really good. I mean, if they if they enter into an alert, if if you are seen, uh, it's really uh, it's really tough to shake it off. It's not easy. I mean, yes, you can run. Yes, you can go into cloak and and get into some vent and you'll shake it off. But uh, entering combat is not a really good idea in this game. And I love it for it. I I, I love that. You know, uh, they 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 were showing a lot of action in the in the trailers at the beginning, and I was kind of worried that the game was going to center a lot more into action and not so much into stealth. Kind of like uh, Splinter Cell Conviction did, you know, with those automatic finishers that you can tag the enemies and kill them instantly, which I thought it was so fucking weird. Uh, yeah, and uh, but no, they they went full stealth here, and they went with probably once again, I'm gonna say it, uh, probably the best stealth game of the year, even if the story lacks 
and even if I feel like there should have been more levels like this at least at least one or two guys uh, it still is the best stealth of the year uh, I will I will have my what's wrong with 2017 at the end of the year uh, and I'll decide uh, because Dishonored is coming out so I, I cannot really say that at this point and yeah I wanna play Dishonored too and uh, yeah this is Talos Rocker conversation fully edited just uh, just what you say and the choices you make he's gonna die after we talk with him and we're gonna have to escape and we can do so without alerting anyone as always uh, it's funny because y you spend the entire level not alerting anyone or taking any sort of uh, violence non-lethal or lethal against anyone and then in the end they kinda chase you to the to the helicopter right like a like an action scene in a movie and it kind of, I mean, I get, I guess it's cool, but I mean, I would have preferred if you make noise, then that happens, and if you don't make noise, then you just get to the helicopter and and nothing happens, no one sees you. Maybe another cutscene when they found uh, uh, Rocker dead and something something like that, you know. Uh, I don't know. So, some chances I, I disagree, but overall it's a beautiful game and we are going to be streaming it. We're going to be doing uh, permadeath on stream. If I die at every point in the stream, I will start all over again. Or maybe we'll, chase, we'll change the game, we'll, we'll go and play some Blood Level 4 in Bloodborne. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll start uh, showing some, some cool gameplay. Not only on Deus Sex on, on other games as well. And if you guys want me to cover any other game, I haven't said this in a while, but if you guys want me to cover some old game or, or some game that you would like to see in the channel, you can leave a request. If I don't have it on, on Steam or on PlayStation 4, uh, well, then you you maybe you'll have to wait until I I will be able to get it. But at least uh, if you want to see something covered, uh, leave it in the comments. I'm always open to su suggestion. It it doesn't seem like that because I never say it. I never say leave a suggestion what what game you would like me to cover. But really, it's not, there is no problem with that. If you want to see some game covered, like I was. I, I asked that in a stream uh, once and, and people told me uh, uh, or in the comments was it that uh, Gangsta and Taisin uh, wanted me to go through Akumu with no upgrades in Evil Within and that might happen but uh, as I mentioned before well Gangsta kinda ruined that so uh, because he did, he did a walkthrough in his channel and I will suggest that you check out his channel is in my features uh, channel together with Big Benedict, Seraphim and Dante uh, he did a he did a walkthrough on Akumu that is still going on um, that is just fucking perfect it's, it's perfect he takes no damage at all at any point and he uses the best strategies that there exists so when I saw that I, I basically say to my said to myself like if you wanna see something really cool like that just go on and and watch him right just just go and watch that that walkthrough because it's it's fucking amazing what whatever that I do uh, on Akumu no Okres it will be close to what he's doing so I don't see the benefit of it I, I kinda see my feature channel like um, like a whole content of channels, you know? Maybe I don't have certain playthrough and, and I'm sure Big Benedict has or, or, or Seraphim or um, or Gangsta. And you see that I take it that I, that I took a little damage there, but the cutscene saved me. Uh, because I don't again I don't have the Icarus dash, so 
That's kind of funny. So yeah, this is the the chase to the helicopter, and this was mission seven, guys. This was the best mission in the game. Uh, very complicated. It took a while to record and get it uh, flawless, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll be seeing that guy in the end of the game. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next mission. Take care.